A scaled-down property tax relief package is one step away from heading to the governor for his signature. Good evening. I'm Quincy Fraser. Lawmakers gave second-round approval to LB34. It repurposes the property tax credit fund and makes it automatic. It adds $185 million in additional relief through budget reductions and sweeping cash funds and places new levy caps on cities and counties. As KETV Newswatch 7's Andrew Ozaki reports, lawmakers turned back efforts to increase the relief and soften the controls on local governments. Some lawmakers make a last ditch attempt to beef up the relief on the property tax relief package. LB 34 is not enough. It's something, but it's not enough. Senator Luann Linehan offered a series of amendments that would add back some of the sales tax exemptions on goods and services she thought could have support. I saw what the votes were and I adjusted. But pulled them after running into opposition from both sides of the aisle. If my mother was proposing a tax increase, I'd oppose it. What we're talking about today is resurrecting for the, I don't know, fourth time, pieces of a bill that no one supports. Senators also tried to attempt to change the hard cap from 0 to 2.5 percent after concerns from cities it could affect bond ratings. But that was thwarted after the governor issued this statement, saying he will veto any bill that weakens the cap. They're all right. Voting yes. In the end, lawmakers defeated the filibuster and sent the bill to final reading on a 39 to 7 vote with only a few tweaks to the bill. Senator Justin Wayne, who led the charge to do more, says he's disappointed. We uh, only found 3% new property tax uh, relief. Uh, renters get nothing, uh, and people who are on fixed income won't even see the difference at such a low percentage. At this point, this, this special session is it's kind of crawling towards the finish line here and it's wounded and it's it's getting difficult to watch. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7.